Bring everything as well. Always ready in the CBS 42 Storm Team Weather Center. Yeah, we've got the team covering the storm. It's been barreling through Louisiana and Mississippi today, producing severe thunderstorms and even tornadoes. And for North Alabama, we do have severe thunderstorm warnings and tornado warnings. This is moving just to the north of Decatur. And we'll let our Huntsville sister station take that up there, WHNT. But I do have my eye focused on a storm system moving out of East Alabama. So this is going to be near the Columbus area and some very heavy rainfall. That's a severe thunderstorm warning. It doesn't necessarily mean it's producing any rotating storms, but I'll tell you what, we are tracking a squall line of rain and wind now beginning to move into Hamilton. So we will track that very closely. Let me take a look really quickly. We can show you our storm team tower cams and looking at some of these tower cams across central Alabama, not a whole lot going on other than Hamilton right now, Tuscaloosa, just a gray sky. And one thing to note about Tuscaloosa today, you'll notice nothing going on there now, but temperatures were in the 70s this afternoon, and that is warm for a December day. All things fairly quiet right now in Tuscaloosa, but those storms are going to be heading in very soon. So again, we've got our eye on that storm system. And so let's uh, taking a closer look right now again back at our storm systems across central Alabama. Uh, what we're looking at is a quiet night. But again, the quietness is going to come to an end for many right now over in Hamilton. That continues through the overnight hours for the rest of central Alabama. Let's talk timing for just a moment. So the storm timing tonight, here's what you need to be focused on between now and 9 o'clock in West Alabama. 7 o'clock until around midnight. I'm giving 2 a.m. a little grace there after that midnight time frame, but I think anywhere from 7 p.m. to midnight central Alabama. And then as we move into East Alabama, 11 o'clock tonight until 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. I do want to show you what the storm energy is doing. Something we call Cape. It's a fancy word, but notice where you're seeing these bright greens. This is where a lot of that energy is, and this is where we track the possibility for rotating storms. So you'll notice at 7 o'clock tonight, it's going to be right along along that Mississippi Alabama state line. Then that that uh, energy is going to continue pushing east into central Alabama in the overnight hours. So that's something that we're watching. So how does that translate into the tornadic activity that we could see? Well, on our future cast right on that leading edge. So basically right now we're seeing that on radar storms moving into Hamilton between now and six begins to push into Fayette over towards Double Springs. And then we'll be watching the storm system advance from Coleman, Jasper, all the way back back down towards Meridian, Mississippi. So again, that's 7 o'clock. This is going to be just after peak commute home times, but I know a lot of folks may have afternoon plans. There have been several cancellation for after school programs, but then the Birmingham Metro, 8 to 9 o'clock tonight. Keep an eye to the sky. Stay close to a good source for weather information. Our app is great in case your power goes out because gusty winds are going to be a huge factor with this storm system. That moves into East Alabama at 10 o'clock tonight, 11 p.m to midnight. It will continue into East Alabama. I'll be tracking this uh, uh, really a line of thunderstorms at 1 a.m. to our southwest, anywhere from Rockford all the way up towards Roanoke, including Alexander City, Lake Martin through 2 a.m. I will not give the all clear until after 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Here is a quick look at some of the things we can expect for these storms. So after the storm moves through, we are looking at a clearing sky. That's some good news there and some much colder air, as you'll notice here on our storm team seven day forecast. So keep in mind on your seven day forecast, we are going to see sunshine, fortunately, after these storms move out early Tuesday morning. So there is a silver lining, but temperatures are going to drop after this cold front moves through.